ladies and gents, welcome back to my channel. New here. Hi, I'm Emily Marie. Uh, my hair looks like Mufasa. Don't mind it. So for today's video, I'm gonna be talking about anxiety and depression. So I know if you guys are triggered by any of the subjects, or if you guys just don't like talking about anxiety or depression, then maybe this video is not for you. But I am just gonna be telling you guys what I've dealt with, my story, what I've gone through with anxiety and depression. I'm actually outside. I'm actually literally on the side of my house filming a video because I really like the lighting. And so if you hear all the birds, don't mind. Oh my god. Okay, <laughs> there's a bee. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> so I'm literally on the side of my house because I love the lighting right here. It's just so bright and beautiful. So if you hear the beautiful birds um, and the chirpings, don't mind it. I love the sound personally, so hopefully you guys like it too. I usually have notes so that I remember everything, but I did not write it notes. I'm just gonna wing it. Literally, wing it. Yeah, let's do this. I went to a psych at one time and guess what I wanted to do. I told her I wanted to help kids with anxiety and depression, people in general. And she's like, I feel like anxiety and depression hold a special place in your heart. And I said, they do. I realized that it does. It really holds a place in my heart because as long as I can remember since I was younger, I've dealt with anxiety and it's all different for everyone. School gave me so much anxiety. I hated school with a passion. And it was just not for me, like I've said that in many videos. That is one of the reasons why I had so much anxiety when I was younger. I had social anxiety, like I couldn't be around a lot of kids. I remember when the counselor, school counselors would say, why can't you be around a lot of kids? I'd be like, I can't be around a lot of kids because there's too many. They didn't really understand they would try to to help me out, but like, no one really understood. So when I was younger and dealt with a lot of crap, I would always keep everything to myself because I'm that person where I don't like dwelling everything on one person like all my crap onto a person does that make sense probably not but you asked me what's wrong i will say nothing i'm fine even though you know there's something wrong i won't tell you because i like, i don't like putting so much on you more than you can handle you know my anxiety has made me not trust people and reasons why i back away from relationships i see so many bad breakups and i'm like i can't go through that this guy's gonna hurt me I need to push them away, so that's what I do. I push people away because I say I can't have them deal with a person like me. That's why I push people away. For friends, relationships, and I'm so sorry to anyone I pushed away if you're watching this video. This video is going to be all over the place. Anxiety made me feel lost, broken, worthless, like I meant nothing. I can name so many things. So many negative things that anxiety made me feel. I felt all those things. I got depressed about those things because I can understand why I had anxiety, why I felt this way, why God, why the universe wanted me to go through so much. I couldn't understand it and so I got depressed and literally my room is right there. Like I said, I'm on the side of my house. My room is right there. I was in that room for God knows how long just scared of the world just scared to talk to anyone i just felt safe in my space in my room and that's the way that's the way it was for a couple of like two years and like i said i was sheltered because of myself that's what i mean when i say i was sheltered i meant that my anxiety made me not do anything i couldn't i was too scared i was just basically trapped in my room because my anxiety wouldn't let me do anything so yeah, my family did not shelter me. I sheltered myself because that's how I felt safe. People started calling me names, saying I was weird, calling me a bunch of names. That didn't make me feel any better. Like I hated myself. I didn't understand what was wrong. I didn't know why people were like calling me names. It sucked, it really did. That, that's how I was for my early teens, like 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. Every year on my birthday, I'd be so scared of getting a year older. I would like get so nervous and I would be so scared. And I'm an overthinker, which is not fun. I was too scared of everything because I overthink. Overthunked? Overthunked. <laughs> Overthanked. Think too much. You know, I was gonna go personal in this video, but I feel like that'll be me just dwelling on the past and the parts of my life where I am out of. I don't want to remember 
those times because they were the hardest times of my life. I hit rock bottom so many times. I know I could talk in depth about that stuff, but I feel like there's no need to because I am done with that part and I hope and I pray to God every day I don't go back to those parts or those days because the literally the worst days of my life. I don't wish that on anyone on my worst enemy I don't wish it on them because it's not fun it's not fair it really just sucks it feels like you're in a hole and you can't get out I just remember feeling so much emotional pain like pain it hurt so bad it was emotional pain because I would think of situations in my head that weren't real problems in my head that weren't real and it just make me overthink and make me anxious and anxious my escape was YouTube my escape was to watch other people be happy I'm so glad that I found YouTube and that I had the courage to actually start a YouTube because that is that is all I want to do. Some YouTubers were my escape. I can name a few: Nikki, Philippi, Ellie, and Jared. Like those are my two main two main YouTubers that helped me help me understand that life is hard, but you can get through anything. And here I am, about two and a half, three years later. And the place where I promised I didn't ever think I could be. I've had a lot of help from my family. And I've had a lot of help from my best friend. She really did help me with a lot of stuff. And I love her so much for that. But I am living proof that you could go through hell and still come out alive. Because mental health is not fun. I've been through a lot. More than anyone should ever go through in 17 years. And now I know the reason why I was put in situations that were so damn hard. I was put in those situations so that I could come out stronger and so I could understand life. Like, I say, and a lot of people tell me as well, that I am really mature for my age. I 100% believe that. Because I am. I'm so freaking mature for my age. Or I'm wise beyond my years, as they say. And I think it's because- no, I know it's because it's everything I've been through. It has pushed me to know the hard times before the good times. Like you know how you're a child and everything and you're a teen, you're so happy to be a teen and you're so happy to have a good childhood and then you don't get to the hardest part till later in life. Yeah, whoa, that's not me. I had it reversed. So I, I dealt with the dark times a lot when I was younger and as I grew up, but now that I'm like, older and finally starting to get those good times and those happy times. I mainly wanted to make this video because it is May and May is Mental Health Awareness Month and I just wanted to share with you guys what I've dealt with. I just basically want you guys to know that you guys are not alone. This video is for all the yous out there that felt and feel like you can't keep going because of your anxiety or your depression or just in general, whatever you're going through. If you feel like you are trapped and you can't get out of this hole, if you feel worthless, if you feel like you don't belong in this world, I want you to know that you deserve to be here. You have a purpose. No matter what you're going through, whether it be the worst possible thing in the world, I promise to God and I promise, promise, promise you that you are gonna get out of that. You are gonna be okay. Always remember, nothing worth having comes easy. And I had a really good friend tell me that one time. So always remember that and know that here I am. I was in that room three years ago and I just was, I felt like I couldn't live anymore. I felt like I just wanted it to be over. I was in that room feeling like I can't ever be free from my mind. I just wanted it to all go away, the pain that I felt. Here I am. <laughs> Three years later, I'm alive, I'm breathing, and I know that I have so much that I have to live for, and so do you. I can't ever say this enough. If you're watching this video, you are here. You deserve to be here. No one can ever tell you different. If they do, tell them to talk to me. I will straighten their ass out. <laughs> and if that person is you, that is doubting yourself, if you are your enemy, then what I say is you have to learn to love yourself because that's how I was. I was putting myself down a lot, telling myself I was worthless, that I just am nothing. I was telling myself that because that's how other people told me. That's what other people told me. And I realized 
I'm just telling myself these things because other people are telling me these things. I had my best friend and I had me and I had family, a couple family members telling me that I can get through anything and that I am powerful and I can do it for me. I realized that I had to keep going and I had to be better for me because what I wanted to know and I wanted to see if what the people that say you could get out of anything, I wanted to see if what they were saying was true. I wanted to see if I could do that and I did. And I'm gonna keep trying every day even though I have a lot of hard days still. I'm gonna get better. I'm gonna be okay. I had to learn how to love myself. I had to learn how to accept myself and accept all my flaws. And I hope you do the same. Live for the moment. You can't put it to words. Live for that first kiss. Live to graduate. Live to make yourself proud. Live for so many awesome reasons. Because you're worth it. And if no one's told you that, I'm telling you that. You are worth it. I promise you. I embrace it now. Like I embrace and I say, I'm a freaking mess. I'm broken because I am. I'm a mess. <laughs> I'm broken. But you know what? I had to learn to put my own pieces back together. I saved myself. No one else saved me. It is who I am. I'm a broken, weird, messy person. And I'm okay with that. I hope and I pray that you live and that you get out of your freaking room and you go and live. You go and tell the person you love you love them. You go and budgie jump. You go sky freaking dive. You go and eat some weird food that you've never tried. Like, just do it all because I would hate if you said I couldn't live because of my anxiety. And you're, you're freaking better than your anxiety. Yes, you will always have your anxiety. It's always going to be part of you. I know you probably wish that one day, poof, it could be gone. I've wished that so many times, but it's all about coping with it. You have to just cope with it and learn to accept it and learn to love yourself and learn that you can do anything and that you are strong as hell and let no one and not even you could stop yourself from doing anything you put your mind to. Promise you loves, okay? And also, it's been one year since I've been on YouTube. Damn, oh my gosh. It's a long time. And that's it for this video. If you guys liked it, give it a big thumbs up and subscribe down below if you would like to. If you guys want to talk to me about anything, please do not ever hesitate to talk to me about anything personal. Obviously, if it's so personal, don't put it in the comments. DM me on my Instagram. <laughs> my social medias will be down below as well. I know you feel like anxiety can break you and that it's the end of the world, but I promise you it's not. You have a lot to live for and you gotta keep fighting, babe. That's all I gotta tell you. Don't give up. It's worth it, I promise. Always remember to be true to you because you were the you. And I will see you guys in my next video. Bye, Lestrats.